Is this the year of uh, agentic AI? I think absolutely it is. I think we've got to start somewhere, right? And I think what we've seen so far um, in this year with vendors working on agentic models and then certainly customers and operators, right? Specifically looking to implement toward autonomous networks. This is really the start of what we're gonna see uh, over several years, right? Start to build on itself. And, you know, this year, we're seeing a lot of spe like specific agents and, and agents that are doing you know, very specific tasks in very specific workflows. As we start to move forward, we're definitely going to see more multi-layer or multi-agent architectures. And that's a big challenge in and of itself. I think solving the problems at the domain level this year um, is really what the focus seems to be around. And then as we move forward, right, we start building more layers, we start becoming more advanced in terms of how Agentic is helping. Um, and I think there's a lot of problems and challenges there that, that need to be solved. Three key takeaways on Agentic. I think first, um, let's look at the implications specifically to the legacy architecture and systems, need integration, we look across those domains. There's a lot that's, that's been built there, very complex. It's been there for quite some time. So, you know, the first takeaway is obviously let's not forget that, right? Let's start building toward that. The second is the ecosystem. If you think about what's going on, for instance, in uh, your own SMO architecture, you now have a, a platform that has multiple applications. Um, and that's much different than what we've seen before um, in many ways, specifically in the RAN space, right? So the ecosystem now is becoming more important. And I think that's definitely the second key takeaway. Uh, and the third one is it's really about the ride, not necessarily the destination, right? There's going to be so much value extracted um, along the way to autonomous networks. Um, and that value really is going to, it's obviously going to create economic benefit, but also reduce complexity and, and certainly make operations more efficient. Um, it's important that operators are looking at what they can generate or essentially pull out of the ride, so to speak, right? The destination being autonomous networks. Um, it's gonna take us a long time to get there. It's not gonna be easy. Um, we're talking about technology and production deployment and the combination of those two to truly uh, change the way things operate within a telecom or operator environment. Um, so I think it's really about the ride. Don't give up on the path to get there because there's a lot of value that could be realized, a lot of new technology and innovation that's gonna happen. Obviously, we're all focused on that destination, but I think we're going to have a really fun ride along the way.